Welcome to part six in this Mondeo running rough video. This time, we're not messing about, we're gonna be fitting a new lift pump. Right, okay then. Up until now, I was able to use all the resources around me, like having a scrapyard on my doorstep, and actually not have to spend much money to get to the stage where I am now. In other words, I've brought the new little hose from the breaker's yard, that cost me a fiver. I've had the new crankshaft position sensor, that cost me a pound. We've investigated the relay, that, that didn't cost me anything, the one that sits under the battery tray. And all these things are faults where people have had the same free codes as what I've got and have had these other issues. What they've said have created the same issue, the same problem, and these are the things that have solved the problem. Now, one thing that keeps coming back is this thing, the lift pump. Now, again, I've had a little look around the forums again, and if this was my only resource, then I might have been... Down, gone down the pathway of spending on any one of them things which I've uh, mentioned. But now, because the lift pump is an unknown quantity, I've actually had to go out and buy a new one. Now, this cost me 98 pounds, and I've gone down this road because there's a number of people who have had exactly the same problem. And bearing in mind that the, the, uh, the lift pump hasn't got any electrical sensor cables go into it so there's no record of what it does or what it's doing or how it's performing registered in the uh, fault codes that we've been getting up all you will get if there is a problem with this supply pump that feeds uh, the, the the fuel from the tank via the lift pump to the high pressure pump if there is a problem where we haven't got enough fuel entering the engine the only codes we're going to get are the codes coming from the actual fuel pump itself which is actually what we have and if you remember in the last video, I was looking along the lines of possibly going down the roads of a electrical fire, uh, fault. But as I say, the things that we have looked at, especially I forgot to mention earlier on the EGR valve as well. Even after, if you've watched the whole series of videos, the EGR valve on the TDDI model, which is, which is what I've got, hasn't got any sensor cables. So that can throw up issues with regards to airflow and vacuum leaks or whatever and bring up faults for the mass, the mass airflow sensor, maybe, or the manifold inlet pressure, if the, if the EGR valve is stuck in the open position, which mine clearly wasn't when I took it out and had a look at it. So, everything's either pointing to two things now. It's either pointing to a, a fuel delivery problem, or it's going to be an electrical problem, again, which is something which I'm not, the reason why I've not gone down the electrical problem at the moment with a loose connector or whatever, is because the, the thing is happening at exactly the same time on the journey. Now, if it was a fault with an electrical problem, I know it's an intermittent fault and it can come and go, but that's the reason why I have not pursued the electrical problem as to yet, like wiggling the connector that goes onto the fuel pump, for example, or uh, relay connections and stuff like that. The reason why I haven't done that is because it's happening every time at the same time. Now, that could be a pump breaking down because if this wasn't supplying fuel at the correct pressure to the main fuel pump, and then the fuel pump was realizing this, this is where I don't know about what the message we had where the pump was saying it's requesting uh, reduced fuel delivery mode. Now, is that saying that the pump has realized that there's not enough pressure there, and as a result of that, it's requesting reduced fueling mode. If there was any four diagnostic people, they would know that, bearing in mind the lift pump on my model isn't monitored or metered in whatsoever. So it may be a safety feature, what the ECM from the fuel pump tells the main PCM if it doesn't see enough fuel there. Bearing in mind there's a logic behind what I'm saying, that this is going to be the problem. And bearing in mind there's other people who have experienced exactly the same and this was the problem as well so we're going to change this now and if it isn't then we're back to square one so let's go and find out where the fuel lift pump is right okay well here i am at the back wheel behind the driver's side on a right hand drive vehicle i've jacked the car up i've got an axle stand underneath so 
the, the actual lift pump is situated just here. So let me take you underneath now and we'll have a look at where it's located. Right, well as you can see, there's the rear wheel. We're coming under the rear wheel now. And up here is the offending article. It goes in this way, there's a new one. So that's the way it goes in. And as you can see, it's got a spout at the back there. Uh, it's got a spout in the middle there. And then you've got your two electrical connectors which power the actual pump themselves. So we've got to disconnect these three things. There's the two cables there. They are color coded. If you look at the old one at the front there, you can see the color codes on them. So I'm gonna have to try and remove them now. There's some sort of clips there, as you can see, look. Oh, there we go. Right, so there's one out. And maybe just open that little tag there. Right, that's that side off. And that's that side off, I think, is it? Maybe just pull back on that wall out. Easier said than done. There we go, come on. There we go, there's the two electrical connections out. And as I say, they're colour coded. Now, so I'm going to undo this clamp here first of all, which is a, it looks like a 10mm, and then we'll see how that goes. So, here's a 10mm, let's undo that. Easier said than done, no doubt. Oh, okay. All right, okay. That's the 10 mil out. And what it does say here is that it doesn't matter. You don't have to bleed the pump afterwards, so. But obviously in the same breath as that, I don't really want to have to discharge all of the uh, fuel coming out of the fuel line going back to the engine, so. I've just got to be wary of that. I don't know if you can see that clip there. I've just pushed it from the back there. And that's come forward now. And that would possibly mean that pump pipe's disconnected. Diesel spilling out there, all over my bloody camera. Right, that's one out. We've got the one that goes down to the engine. There's three pipes in total by the looks of it. There's that one there, which goes to the front. <sighs> See, I've got that swing in now, and I've got that other attachment, the other end, which goes down the back via this little clip here. So this one, how's this one come out? I think you've got to push these two sides in again. Here, maybe I don't know. Right, let's try and put that screwdriver in there. Pull that little tab forward. Oh yeah, you push it in from the back. There we go, so a little clip comes forward like that, look. Tiny little clip. Then this should pull off then. Easier said than done. Try and just lever it off. There we go, yep. That one's straight forward. Like that. And then we've got this one here. And that's the same sort of thing. That's two pushes in the side it comes forward and there we go now ideally turn that you can twist that one up look and it won't drop through then so hopefully that's what we've done there and now we can take this old lift pump out this is the old lift pump as you can see and we've got this bracketry to take off now because that's got to be fitted onto the new pump so I'm gonna do that now and uh, Give it a bit of a clean up and I'll see you in a minute. Right, okay. Well, I've got that um, whole union thing put back on. I had to take that new spout off and put this old one on, but I've got a new copper gasket on there, as you can probably see. So we're going to try and get this in now. The first one being the last one we took out. That's it, that one's in. Oh, right, there's my two electrical cables. 
again colour coded and uh, yellow and black there in that's the black in just check the connections as well make sure they look all right which they do get on there clips hook back over so that's them two basically in I'll push that in until it's home which it is and then push this little white clip back over and in it goes and that one's on now I think it was it yeah it was it there we go that one is back in right okay now before we go any further let's just make sure everything looks alright there I suppose I could turn the uh, ignition on before we do anything and just see if I have got any leaks. So before I bolt anything down, I'm going to do that first. Right, have we got any leaks? I can feel the pump running. Yeah, this pump's definitely running. I can't see any leaks. Right, just turn it off. Right, okay. So, we know the pump's running. And we know we haven't got any leaks, so we've got the electrical feed cables going too there. There you go, that might be a bit better. You can see a bit better now. So, I've just got to put this outer cover on. Up there. There we go, like that. That's looking, looking good. Looking good, baby. Pull that back up there like that. And get that. Turn me a bolt put back in. There we go. Right, okay. Everything looks okay. No sign of any leaks. Let's start it up again. Right, we're running. And we've got no leaks. Right, well in all honesty, that wasn't too bad to change. So I'm hoping, I've turned the car back off again now, we're gonna do exactly the same journey as what we've done when we packed, popped, when, we, when it buggered up the last time, and we're gonna see what happens now. So, I'm not saying anything. I've shown you these before, these are handy things, these are, rubber ice hockey pucks believe it or not you can buy these on ebay and they span that sort of crease where you have to jack up on so always handy to have them let's take it for a ride come on baby now i don't know whether i'm going to get a misfire due to me taking the fuel pump off or what i'm not too sure so or whether that automatically bleeds air out of the system i'm not sure it does say in the manual that you don't need to so off we go the temperature's coming up. It's about quarter heat now. And if you remember by the other videos, this is the stretch of Luck Road where we get our problems. So here we go. That's red line. <laughs> Who knows? There was no hiccup there. I'm not going to say anything, but that did not ink up, and that that red line. Come on, you beauty! This is where I pulled over before when I had a stop start, and I stopped and tried to start again, and then I carried on driving down here. Right, and I turned down this road here. This is where I went behind that, the delivery van, if you remember rightly. Accelerating. That's full acceleration. That's full acceleration. I'm gonna go round again. <laughs> oh, come on, baby. 
Come on. This better be it. I'm bogging the engine down now and it's pulling fine. It's picking up, 2,000. This would have played up by now. This would have played up by now. I'm going around again. I'm going around again. See, as I said to you, we've tried to apply logic, and if we were just listening to forums, we would have wasted a lot more money than what I've had to do. And that's half of the reason why that I, I, I sort of do these things. A lot of people say, oh, you know, you show your, your cock-ups and all, but yeah, I do, because it's the mistakes that can easily be made when you're taking advice for someone, from someone else who you don't know, you don't know the full history, and you can be led down the garden path. And that's why I like to show everything in these videos, in the hope that, well, one, you can save money as well as me, but I mean, if this is the case, then this was money that I was probably gonna have to spend anyway. Here we go. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> that's it, it's sorted. Definitely sorted. Oh, baby. Don't put your hands on me. Lift pump, sorted, there we go. Well, just shows you, keep her at me. Look, how I, look what I do, I'll get my hands dirty, look. Don't I, for you, baby. Fuel pump. Fuel lift pump. I know, I know. She probably knew what it was all along, but she I didn't tell me. I told him that, but he wouldn't have it. Right, we're going now. I'm gonna get her back behind the wheel again. I'm fed up with it, all right? Yeah. That car's cost me grief, but we've learnt through it, both of us, you and me. And you, what have I learned? You've learned that to you look after me. Hands. You've learned to keep me sweet and I'll fix your car for nothing, baby. Oh, yeah. See you later. Bye for now. Told you, didn't I? I told you it was that all along. No, you didn't. <laughs> you didn't.